All right, so according to Wired, most TikTok, U.S. TikTok creators don't think a ban will happen. So if you guys don't know, um, the House of Representatives Congress actually has, and uh, the President Joe Biden has passed a bill stating that uh, TikTok has about 270 days to find an acquisitioner, a U.S. acquisitioner to buy the company um, so that it is U.S. owned. Otherwise, Apple's, um, um, the Apple Play Store, Google Play Store, all companies will be, they will ban it. It will be illegal to house TikTok as a downloadable app for U.S. content creators, you guys. And so, um, it's it's in effect. It's in effect, you guys. The, t the clock is ticking. But according to this video or this article that was released four days ago, the majority of U.S. TikTok creators don't believe the platform will be banned within a year. And most haven't seen brands they work for shift their marketing budgets away from the app. According to a new survey of people who earn money from posting content on TikTok shared exclusively with, with Wired, you guys. Now, the thing that I feel about TikTok, right? I talked to, um, I, I know a couple people that use TikTok. I came across TikTok um, a long time ago. Just never really got into it, you guys. I, I know it's an opportunity missed, and I, I know it in my mind it is. But unfortunately, I feel like I'm one of the old heads where... I just am unable to adapt, I, and I'll just call it as it is, you guys. I will admit it. I am one of those people who are unable to adapt, or I just need a person to do the short-form content for me. I just don't feel like I have the time. I feel like it was already too much time just to make long-form content. It took a, a huge psychological like gap in understanding for me just to even get myself onto to doing YouTube. And so for another part of the game to be added, you know, of short-form content, you guys, it just felt like it was a lot. But anyways, I have a friend, I have a couple friends that use TikTok now, and everyone says the same thing. Oh, U.S. has other problems to worry about. The U.S. has other problems to worry about. Oh, why the fuck are they working focused on TikTok? This is just showing the, 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 the incompetence of our U.S. politicians. Now, whether or not they may be true or not, you guys, this is what they feel is important, right? Not the water in Michigan, Flint, right? Not not all these other things that got going on. No, not the homeless problem in California. No, it's TikTok, right? And so this is where it's going, you guys. And so um, I think that if now more than ever, I'm, I probably will start posting on TikTok because it, it may very well actually get banned, you guys. They've tried to, to do it before and it's not gone anywhere. But I mean, hey, you never know. You never know. The findings suggest that TikTok's influencer economy largely is not expecting existential dread after Congress passed a law last month that put the future of the app's U.S. operations in jeopardy. The bill demands that TikTok separate from its Chinese parent company within a year or face a nationwide ban. TikTok is challenging the constitutionality of the measure in court, you guys. So let's take a look at this real quick, right? Shut the fuck up, damn. So here it is, you guys. President Biden signs a bill that could ban TikTok. The law will give TikTok a year to divest from ByteDance. So if this is this is the bill, right? President Joe Biden signed a bill on Wednesday that could ban TikTok from operating within the United States as of next year, right? And of course, I can't read it because I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking subscriptions, you guys. I hate this shit. I can't read it, but, you know, that's what it is. So, for an influencer marketing platform that connects creators with clients for sponsored content, polled U.S.-based TikTok creators on its platform with at least 10K followers. It got 200 responses, half from people who rely on influencing as their sole source of income. Out of the respondents, 62% said they did not think that TikTok would be banned by 2025, while the remaining 38% say they believed it would. Right. So the majority of people think that it won't get banned. And then, you know, obviously the, the minority feels like it will. It won't. It will be right. I think that. If I were a TikTok creator. It would be best in my personal opinion. Right. But once again, I'm not a TikTok creator, so I don't know. But I, it just sounds like in theory that it would be best for you to just branch out in general to other platforms. Like, even if you are successful on one platform, wouldn't it make sense to try to do other platforms to expand your audience? I just feel as if you should take it as if it would get banned and start to double down on your performance and content on other platforms. That's just my personal opinion, you guys.
Uh, but once again, I mean, like, I'm not, uh, I, I'm a hypocrite because I don't post on TikTok. I, I don't really post on TikTok. I, I mainly post on YouTube. That's I, I actually, I only post on YouTube, honestly. You know, I don't really use any other platforms. So um, that's just my personal opinion, you guys. I feel like if you are a TikTok creator, why don't you just start posting more on Instagram or other places? You know what I mean? For For the chance that it does. Some creators may be skeptical that a ban will really happen after they watch the Trump White House and Congress try and fail several times to crack down on TikTok over the past few years. The platform has so far only continued to grow more popular in the U.S., sparking alarm in Silicon Valley over a threat in its competition poses. There's also the possibility TikTok will be sold to a group of American investors. Several interested bidders have emerged, though TikTok has made it clear that such an acquisition would practically be impossible, you guys. Some creators are simply struggling to believe the bizarre situation their favorite app has landed in. I'm in denial because I think the TikTok ban is ridiculous, one anonymous creator told for through its survey. I think our government has bigger things to worry about other than banning a platform where people are allowed to express their views and opinions. That's another thing that, you know, the the, the people that I talk to, they're, they're like, well, this is just a, this is because of the Ukraine, Palestine thing that's going on. You know, they want to, they want to take down the freedom, the expression of freedom and, and that people have. There's nowhere else to, to, to speak freely like, like you can on TikTok and on other apps. Ah. I mean, I think that's part of the reason why Elon Musk really got his, he bought TikTok or Twitter, right? Now, of course, there won't, like this whole freedom of expression, people have taken this the wrong way. People don't get it. They just don't get it. <laughs> you don't, we don't sh really have freedom of expression, right? We do, but you don't have freedom of expression in areas that's massively accessible because these platforms, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, you name it, they have to abide by laws that govern freedom of speech. You can't talk about racism as freely as you want to. You can't talk about sexism as freely as you want to. You can't talk about genocide of certain groups of people as freely, freely as you want to. You can't talk about self-harm. You can't talk. There's a lot of things you cannot talk about. And people like that's freedom of expression but you can't do that i've spent years in content moderation you guys we moderate a lot for facebook and instagram as well you guys and so i'm telling you we don't genuinely 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 have freedom of expression people want freedom of expression on these apps and these platforms that have to abide by the law right you have we have like i could go right like in the world i'm there's not gonna be people that I don't even know, to be quite honest. I'm going to be careful with that because even when you say certain things, the FBI could come to your door. You know what I'm saying? So you don't genuinely have, like, freedom of expression. We've never really had. You know what I'm saying? There's there's always limitations of what you can and can't say. So that argument is just – it's lacking a bit of firepower behind it. You know what I'm saying? Most creators say it. That they have not lost businesses from brands that pay for marketing content on TikTok since the new law has signed. 83% of the influencers who responded said their sponsorships have been unaffected. But the rest, the 17%, had seen signs of brands pulling back from the app or at least diversifying their marketing. Some 7% said a brand had paused or canceled a campaign they worked on. And an 8% said a brand had asked to shift a deliverable to another social media platform or at least inquired about such a change. Companies may be reluctant to walk away from TikTok because it's become one of the most popular avenues for consumers to discover new products, particularly from small businesses. Over the past year, TikTok has tried to leverage that influence into a new revenue stream through an e-commerce feature called TikTok Shop. Over 11% of U.S. households have made a purchase through TikTok Shop since September 2023, according to credit credit card transaction data published in April by the research firm Earnest Analytics. The thing about this, you guys, is when it comes to when it comes to 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 what I've what I've recognized, right? I was I was in the field of doing uh um. Before I got into finances and getting my loan license and real estate license, you guys, I was educating myself on wholesaling real estate, right? Wholesaling real estate is was something that a lot of people that you didn't even need a uh, license to do, right? There was it was a it was a loophole around the system that people were able to to get involved with real estate 
um, and get a get a chunk of it without having any actual professional real estate experience. One and two, without having any licenses or anything like that. Now, Dodd Frank came about um, as a response to the mortgage crisis in two thousand eight, which also limited um, and also saw some some in, uh, restrictions on the way that people could do wholesaling, right? And made loan officers have required to get loan licenses. My dad was actually um, a loan officer, a loan originator. He was a broker, and he did not even need any kind of licenses at all. He just used his his sponsoring brokers as license to do businesses and stuff like that, right? He didn't even graduate high school. Now, me, on the other hand, because of Dodd Frank and stuff like that, long story short, I know I'm, like, what I'm trying to say is that when it comes to the U.S. and it comes to loopholes and Americans finding loopholes in the systems to get rich, Typically, there's a response from the government in a way that r restricts it in, in a way, right? It's come about in trading. I'm a trader, you guys. I'm actually trading right now with the prop firms. The U U.S. has cracked down on prop firms, you guys. There's uh, um, FTMO no longer accepts U.S. clients. You know what I'm saying? There's always, every time there's a, a, a loophole in the system for people to get rich quick, right? Or at least faster than traditional means the u.s government is is definitely looking they're finding ways to patch up those holes and so i think that this is just another way of patching up those holes making it a little bit harder you know what i'm saying for a lot of for average people to to you know make it out tiktok has been a way to make it out in a lot of ways you know and so i think this is just another one of those things right it doesn't look as though the passage of the divestor bill last month prom prompted people to spend significantly less time on TikTok or avoid the app altogether. The popularity of the platform in U.S. app stores has remained largely consistent over the past month, according to the market intelligence firm Sensor Tower. And Ford found that 60% of creators said their video views have remained the same. 28% said that they had seen them fall and 10% reported their engagement increased. These shifts could simply be caused by routine changes TikTok makes to its algorithm, variability of the content that influencers are sharing, or the whims of users consuming videos. TikTok's rise has spurred U.S. tech giants to mimic many of its features with Google's YouTube pushing its shorts format and Meta's Instagram launching Reels. So long, like all in all, it looks as if even with this news of the U.S. Congress passing the bill to ban TikTok, viewership has largely remained unchanged for the most part. Like, people, it's not changing anything, right? Four surveys suggest that if creators start leaving TikTok because of uncertainty about the app's future or a ban, Instagram stands to benefit the most. A clear majority of creators, 67%, said they saw it as the best alternative for growing their audience while 22% cited YouTube, only a small fraction pointed to Snapchat, Pinterest, and other platforms. Now, this is interesting, right? Because I remember Mr. Beast came about saying that YouTube shorts were gonna explode years ago and YouTube shorts exploded, you guys. Even for someone like myself who's been on YouTube for a few years now, you guys. I'm still a fairly new con uh, new creator, but I've been on here for, for quite a bit, you guys. Shorts are most definitely a great way to farm views, to farm subscribers, all of that, you guys. You can get so much from doing shorts. And so it's in my personal opinion that I think that if I were to be a TikTok creator, um, I would be in spending time on YouTube and Instagram. YouTube, I think YouTube shorts are great. I think the reach is great on YouTube, but the, uh, the, uh, the, the like engagement on Instagram is, is I think just a little bit better. It's, Instagram seems to be a bit more personal, personal than YouTube does. Right. So, um, you know, some of the creators, however, said that it is harder to gain traction on Instagram compared to TikTok. And one noted that Meta's platform does not offer anything equivalent to TikTok's creativity program, which pays users based on how many views and other engagement metrics their videos receive. Across social platforms, the most common way for creators to get paid is by signing deals with brands to make posts featuring their products. Now, here's something that I think will change. If this TikTok ban does happen, it you know, once again, like it said in the, in the article, Meta and Instagram seem to benefit the most. I think that these things will come to these platforms if, if TikTok is to get banned. Right now, 
these these platforms have already established their own uh metaphorical real estate in the digital world in social media there's no need for them to really expand out further when tiktok is already kind of doing that not to mention if there's fire under the feet of tiktok if tiktok is looking to get kicked out the door it only stands i feel like if the smartest thing to do is to observe and to continue to learn about TikTok and what they are doing and why it's worked so well and just improve upon it so that when your time, your opportunity does come, you're able to not only deliver on that opportunity, but deliver and execute very well. I think that's what YouTube and Instagram are doing. And so, yeah, it's not easy to gain traction on those platforms right now. But when the, if this ban, when this ban happens, maybe, you know, things will change. But for a survey also showed the growth of a novel monetization scheme called the TikTok Creative Challenge, which the app launched last year. It allows companies to post requests for creators to make marketing videos that brands can then use on their own channels. Influencers are compensated based on how well their video performs in terms of views and engagement. In Ford's survey, that type of content known as UGC or user generated content represented the largest TikTok revenue stream for 18% of content creators. Whatever happens to TikTok in the US, history suggests that it may not be long before its American competitors begin rolling out their own user generated content initiatives, which is exactly what I just said, you guys. I think that overall, TikTok is going to be reincarnated in another form you guys and we're already seeing that in youtube shorts and instagram reels you know what i'm saying tiktok is the better app it is the better app by no means you guys but like there's no competition tiktok is the better app but because of that because it is not u.s owned it's not u.s based I think it only makes sense for the U.S. to be in competition with the rest of the world. We're still the world currency. We're still on top of the world for the most part. I mean, it only makes sense for the biggest, one of the biggest apps in the, our fucking country to be U.S. owned, right? How dare it be another country? It only makes sense, you guys. It only makes sense. And so I think that in terms of in the alignment with the country's goals and um, historically, I think TikTok will be banned. And so um, contrary, like just just a lot, like a lot of America and Americans, you guys, we are a lot slower to the to, to things changing than, um, you know, other other people are and stuff like that. And I just I just I don't think that people are going to really get this fire under their feet until it gets closer to the to, to the deadline. And then that's when people will be like, oh, my God, OK, I guess they weren't lying about this. No, they weren't lying about it, you guys. And so. um. You know, I think that's, I think that's, I think that's what it is. And so, um, what do you guys think about this, man? Do you think TikTok is going to get banned? Do you think we're going to see a, uh, a migration to other platforms such as Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts uh, because of this ban? Uh, do you use TikTok more? Do you use it less now because of this ban? Do you think it's even actually going to happen, you guys? Uh, with that being said, man, it's your brother Trey. I'll see you guys in the next video.